Well, it's the first time you've done it, so hopefully it will not be. Because I've finally gotten to a rhythm with Dwarf Fortress now that we're stopping. But <laughs> I finally figured it out now that I'm handing it off again. <laughs> that tends to be how things go. All right, whenever you are ready, sir. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Joe Teaches Al Dwarf Fortress. I'm Joe. I'm Al. Here we are. This is episode 50. Here you are, because once again, you've forgotten to share your screen with me. Here I am. I can't see anything. <laughs> I, this picture of this guy pulling his shirt off is pretty rad, but other than that... What? Why do you have that? That's your profile pic. Oh, okay. First off, <laughs> that sounded not like what my profile pic is. <laughs> There's a dude pulling his shirt off. Yes. I was like, ow, what's on your desktop? <clears throat> <sighs> It is fan art from a zombie having his shirt ripped off. Oh, is it not? I thought that was him, like, reaching up back over his shoulder and pulling the shirt off Oh, you himself. know what? Yeah, that's, uh, um, I think he was displaying that he was one of them in that scene. He's looking back all sneaky. Okay. Right. Here we are, boot teached. Last episode. There's dogs running around. Yeah, with, by the way, yes, I, but before I got into talking about your shirt... Uh, <laughs> Not <I should> my <laughs> shirt! <laughs> a fan's <laughs> rendering of a character of mine's shirt. You're, you seem kind of defensive here, Joe. Do well, we need to talk you made about it sound this? like I've got dudes ripping their shirts off as my <laughs> screensaver. <laughs> so yeah, a bit, a bit <clears throat> you know, all good for if that's your thing, but I don't like misrepresenting myself in such a way. Anyway, this is the final episode of Boot Teach, our, our 50th episode. We're going to be switching over to adventure mode. This is true. Any, like, today. You, yeah. you it, well, Not for you today, but, I mean, me and Joe are going to record our not first episode today. of adventure mode today. Not for so, the listener today. As soon as this is over, we're hopping right, we're just abandoning it. No, no looking back, no yep. regrets. But hopefully, we. one of the things we won't not regret is not building... But what I'm saying is you should build a library, Joe. The library is built. This guy's put in a window. This is the only... <laughs> they're not... I mean... Yeah, you um, gotta... You, you need to dig out all that lava space, too. Like, it's not done, done, done. Make... Uh, I guess I can add... Make this guy also make clear glass. We'll have two people making clear glass windows. With sort of what we have left. Um, And then, uh, yeah, I guess we can... Well, okay. Bum, 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 bum. I have to put flooring down over the windows. They can't just walk on the windows and then walk. See over here by the I'm stairs. I'm walking on windows. I had to put Whoa. down. So I will do that where we have. Swing and a miss. I'm walking on windows. Whoa, whoa. I feel um, like a dwarf. Construction floor. Okay. Da, 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 um, Let's do this in... Oh, I thought you were going to say silver. Silver bars. Albert. Silver boys. <laughs> Albert. I'm very singy today. <laughs> um, how can you tell the difference? <laughs> no, it's every day. I'm not, it's not like an unusual occurrence, I'm just saying, today especially. Um, also, I wanted to... We've gotten a lot of people chiming in over on the old videos. Um, well, let's just open your nine. YouTube window. Yep. Would you like me to look this up, Joe? Why? Okay, I don't know. floors, it's going. Okay, yeah, fair James enough. James Pritchard, you know, Pritchard, you're getting another one. We're naming someone else after you. James Pritchard II, because yes. he died. It's not a diff It's not the same James Pritchard. James we Pritchard have... too. Must be under what? Someone told us how to get around that actually, but we'll just go two. That might fit. It might have been II was too much. Ah, give it again. James Pritchard, put it back. James Pritchard too. All right, why are you giving me like a set amount of space, but then telling me I can't? James Pritch 2. We'll try that. And it yes, just sounds Albert, like an insult or something. Well, the yeah, next name is Well Hung Horse. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one fits. Yes. They're like, oh yeah, no problem. Join Pritch with the second? Not cool. Well Hung Horse? <laughs> Done. Oh, look. Free advertising for Tide. Um. <laughs> they are putting up the floors, if you're wondering why I'm spending time. Don't hug in me, here. I'm hurt, scared six, explained. Yeah, I can't believe Let's they got this six. Video. I didn't realize that they've had more coming out. I'm sort of scared to uh, look. So Don't to watch the video. I'm not watching We're the video, trying. I paused it. Okay. Fastiva. I don't think that there is an explain for those 
No, there's no explanation, but I didn't realize they had... It just annoys me that people are like, I have the answer, guys. It's like, it's not, it's not that kind of show. It's like there's... People do that for, uh, that time travel movie you love. There is an answer to that, though. No, there's not. That's very... Yes, there is. No, there's not. Joe, Joe thinks that Primer is just completely random, and he's No, wrong. I don't think it's completely random. I think I have the answers, and you're listening to False Prophets. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I think you're wrong. You don't even know you you don't even know where the shower is. What? Take that. Yeah, we've had this conversation. Remember when I first watched it, I was tweeting you about this and you were like, What? And I was like, dude, get on the trolley. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what Joe's talking about. It is time. To be tunneling. Channel. Oh wait, that's not a that's not this thing. Boom. Every day we're tunneling. Um let's make sure I don't flood. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> with lava. Let's do that. Uh, okay, all of that is still okay. Not That's the far cool. stuff. No, no, you you don't have windows up there, or do you? Where? Where? On the top. I'm not going across the top. Yeah, we're going up to to the like up on the upper left corner. That's outside of where that that's gonna flow past where. I'm worried about that. This square is being channeled. I understand. I'm, I'm order, saying order, I'm, order, I don't order. want it to be. Okay. It is now no longer being channeled. That mushroom shall live. Maybe go. I'm wrong, but it just looks off to me. It well, looks this like goat a- has come to read some books. <laughs> Hello. I like the little icons that they have in this texture pack we use. When we get into adventure oh, mode, they totally look like the things. Like if you're a spider person, there's like a little spider icon running around. It's great. Some of these floors got suspended during some kerfuffle or another. Boop, boop, boom. I'm trying to think of. I'm what sure we won't have any more kerfuffles, Joe. What the goat will be uh, looking to check out? Like, there aren't very many goat-related books that I I'm can think of. I'm trying to think of. Uh, I can't think of anything that maybe the, goat the might want. maybe you know they have a variation on the cat in the hat called the goat in the boat. It's possible. I was going more for. Uh, what are we building our stairs out of? I think silver. I think the stairs are actually silver. Silver stairs. I don't I don't know why I <laughs> opened up that door again, but Yeah. Um I was trying to make a, a book that has an ah sound in it, but I can't think of any. This is well, I love watching this. The the lava's trying to seek its own level. Yep. And it just like freaks out and probably is killing our well maybe not it's not killing our frame rate, but No. It's uh I'm sure it's using some processor power. But it's like sloshing up against the windows. Mm-hmm. While, while no one sits in the library, library. there was a goat. Uh, he yes. left. <laughs> the <Dang> goat <laughs> left. <laughs> Autobiography. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> that's what I was. Looking, that's what I was going for. But it didn't. Uh, it never uh, gelled. Oh, Bernie Sanders hauler cancels eat item inaccessible. That's not that exciting. Where is that's, that at? It's, it's, it's uh, an announcement down here. Uh, no, I know where the announcement was. I I'm saying like, is that something <laughs> we need to be worried about? <laughs> Uh, there's only one, so it's just like someone grabbed a pot that he was trying to do something with. It's actually happened okay. right here somehow. Perhaps the goat ate it. <laughs> I'm t- I love the idea of Bernie Sanders' dinner getting <laughs> stolen by a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing against <laughs> Bernie Sanders. That's not what, where I'm going with that. It's just uh, sort of his look. Yeah, that definitely fits him being like. He kind of does have goat. a goat look. Like he, he sort of. <laughs> you could see a goat stealing his his lunch. <laughs> um. I also really like that it's ju- like it's sloshing around. The lava's sloshing around up near the top of the windows. Six seven six seven. How long will it continue to do that? Because it I was stable. Absolutely, absolutely no idea. Because it looks stable. What? No, it was stable before. Yeah, and we open up one row of space, so you know. I wonder. I'm just wondering how long it'll stay unstable for. If there's a sort of a welling upwelling of lava that will allow it to stabilize, otherwise it'll keep sloshing around. There's now a little bit more space in this magma pool. Okay. Silver stairs. Oh, Albert, you son of a... I Albert is song. like king of earworms for me. The number of things I get in my head where I'm like, why am I singing this? <laughs> I don't know what, but you don't even things. watch Sharknado, and I got you singing the Sharknado yeah, song. Yeah, I, I know the Sharknado song. I know the. I like how we have a desk in here. Do we have someone? Let's go to our old workshops and see what. We don't have paper, by the way, which would help if we can get some people writing some stuff. Let's have him do some thrones and some tables. Game of Thrones. 
Game of Thrones. Now you're cross pollinating. Shares in the library. It's not. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Um, Paper. Didn't I set up a guy? A press and a choir and all that stuff? I don't remember you doing that. You might have done that. I might not have been paying attention. Or it might (laughs) have been so long ago that I built the corn and the masonry. Built three of them, actually. We can corn it up. Corn it up. Shockingly, we won't be. But you need a press, too? Yes. Did I make the stuff for the press? I did. I made that, too. Nice. You go. Oh, you just need a couple mechanisms. It's not that big a deal. Someone mentioned in our comments that in adventure mode, everything can be weaponized. Like, you can hold anything in your hands and... Yeah. It's called the miscellaneous item uh, ability. So, if you can hold something, you can hit somebody with it. That's pretty sweet. Because you can make trap components, like giant screw... Pr- giant magnesium screws and stuff. Mm-hmm. You can du- dual wield those. I don't know if it's more effective than just having just a sword, though. It just sounds awesome. <laughs> it does kind of sound awesome. Massive serrated blade or whatever? Yeah. I mean, I, we're going to... Oh. Well, well, there will be many the opportunities to do many different things, Joe. Yeah, they're just kind of losing track of things. I will check on my kitchen, though. These guys are... That's what I'm saying. At one point... Oh, do we have a... I know Wolfgang died. He was rendering fat. Um, Did we ever replace him? Is, is, is that the question you're going for? Because I don't remember. The question I was going for. Yeah. I don't think we cook. could. He hasn't been doing great, but we do have a cook. He's level one. Oh, we got two cooks. I was going to say, lo- the level five guy I'm more impressed with. Why are we... Will he put that level three guy on something. That's uh, our doctor. How good is he at being a doctor? He's a five. He's proficient. Well, that's pretty okay then. He's only competent in cooking. When you have any skill in doctoring, I mean, I guess I could mix it up. Technically, this guy might be a better doctor, but whatever. He's gotten he's gotten another patience. <laughs> he has a good bedside manner. One thing, okay, something I wanted to check was how are our candidates doing in their talky skills? So, Jesus is zero across the board. That's not very good. Well, hung horse, you are a competent liar. <laughs> Samuel Adams, oh, he's a brewer. Where are um, Donald Trump? He's a, he's right. adequate comedy. He's a competent conversationalist. It's not bad. He's got twos. Uh, 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 James you can't, you can't filter two. these guys? I eh, probably can. I'm just also looking at our, our users. Hillary Clinton. Uh, she's up at four. Skilled intimidation. <laughs> she's... Th- <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's the number three judge of intent. Competent judging of intent and then twos and ones. Uh, Bernie Sanders did not jump out at me. I don't know where he is. Is he, like, assigned to something? He shouldn't be. He should be completely... He shouldn't be, yeah. There he is. He's three... It was six at pacifying. Talented pacifier. The pacifier. The pacifier. Also Bernie Sanders liar. is the pacifier. Look at this guy. Fourteen. Grand master observation. Those are, like... We'll get into this in uh, adventure mode, but some of these, you get to, like, decide how good you want to be at these things to start with. Mm-hmm. I really wish that there was, like... A, an option to just become like really really good at talking and just convince everybody to stop fighting you <laughs> like instead of that being doesn't that you can't do that i don't think so i think that there are fights so where like talking, i mean bogeymen aren't going to be d- talked uh, down right if people aren't actually sentient i think oh i don't know if the Crunch bogeymen are sentient or not they're just like they don't care they're not human i think any... there's sentience i'd like to think you could if you were the most skilled talker ever manage to talk like a raving, even like a complete out-of-body raving psychopath down. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so, if you're wondering why maybe I'm lingering some of these screens a little long, it's because this is my last go-round with Booteach, and I'm sort of just taking stock of what, what we've grown here. We have a great hammer dwarf. I only got to great. My ninjas did not become the elite fighting force that I hoped they would be, but we got one guy up to expert. Corella DeVille is actually not a bad fighter and has a little bit of whipping. I played as a lasher for a few a few, pl- few times in my practice Did the whip turn out place. to be the, the overpowered? Um, you know, it's not, not, not the way I was using it. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. I mean, it didn't turn out to be overpowered for me, but maybe there is a way in which it can be overpowered if you use the right strategy. Oh, and someone has risen. Is it haunting the... Okay. Do we not have enough coffins? I thought we had coffins, but 
I don't know if that's the thing we need to worry about in our last Let's Play of In Boot Teached, since I we just won't thought be I back. built a lot of coffins. Should we have Apparently a ghost? We have a, a lot ghost? of dead. Yes. You know what's interesting, actually? We have an owner. Oh, what? We have an owner of this coffin, but. He's ghostly. He's a ghost. This is not the final resting place of that guy. He just owns the coffin. That's kind of interesting. So he, like, goes there to sleep, I guess? I didn't know that happened. He's ghostly. He doesn't, like, so the ghost sleeps in the coffin? I don't know. I, I didn't think the ghost ever, I didn't realize the ghost claimed a, uh, ghosts claimed, uh, homes. I never noticed that before. We actually have a lot of coffins. Um, we've gone over slab building, though, right? Yes, we have. Okay. But in case people have not gone back to that episode, just uh, so you're aware, you build a, a slab, engrave it with the person's name, and that puts the them to, shop. Yes. to rest so that they're not freaked out because they know that they're remembered. And then you engrave it at the Crafts Dwarf Shop. And then you place it, and they know they're remembered, and they're put to rest. How's our hospital doing? I, you know what? Actually, the hospital, the doctor did pretty well. I yep. guess all these beds are full at one point. Patching <laughs> people up, giving them, giving them crutches. Yeah, making them walk about. Muscle Mile, also full of dead cats and dogs. Gonna miss which that. Is, which is... Gonna miss Muscle yep, Mile. Yep, stray puppy partial skeleton and a pile of vomit. Whereas these are... <laughs> oh, these are Dingo Man mangled skeletons. So this is for sentient-ish things. There's a dwarf. You shouldn't be in there. There's someone's right foot. Um, Yeah. That's just corpse skeleton. Okay, so the C's and D's in Muscle Mile are different from the C's and D's in the graveyard stockpile. It's good to know. I was a little confused why they were mixing and matching. Now we're going to make more gold bookshelves. Nope, nope, that's not how we do that. Actually, we're just going to go to the JMQ. Gold book case? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not a bookshelf. It's the same thing. And our querns are built, so we will mill plants into slurry. And then once that's kickstarted a bit, we'll press them into sheets, and then make the sheets into codexes? I think that's how that works. Woo! You want to place some of your tables and thrones that you put uh, put together? I think Donatello's cracked those out already? I don't know. Well, that was, I mean, I'm just making conversation here, Al. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I assumed that it had been running for a few minutes. He probably built a few of them. Apparently, I did actually build a lot of those at some point. I saw Donatello in the uh, movie theater. <laughs> really? Day with he all carving? the other uh, Ninja Turtles. <sighs> How was that going? How was that for you? Whoops. It was. Uh, it, w it wasn't great. It was okay. It was okay. Um, something to note, though, is that it seems to have leveled out. Which is kind of cool. Yep. Well, there's still a few ripples going down a on the few, bottom but there. there's oh, that's always there's always that. Um, ramps, just, however, a little annoying. But I don't know. I have no idea how you would do that unless you built a room like this for the library and then pumped magma in, which would be that'd be a task. It's not how we approach this library. It is not. No, it is not. I'm fine with that. <laughs> do we have enough rock blocks? We have a, is that all rock blocks? Yes. That's a lot of rock blocks. We <laughs> yeah, never did fill up our statue stockpile, but No, we lost Michelangelo to a oh, the Mason's workshop is cluttered. Okay. Well they can't they don't have anywhere else to put the rock blocks. Yeah, they're running out of rock block room. We do have sure. this giant stockpile we can put rock blocks blocks in if we redesignated to allow what? that. Are you crazy? Uh maybe, but that does no bearing on this. <laughs> That's the statue stockpile. Fair enough. Hey, We've also got that empty hallway. <laughs> we have a lot of space. Okay, there's some stuff going on now. Um, Haunter, Haunter, Haunter. Wow, three brewers ran out. Three ghosts. Chief medical dwarf cancels diagnose patient. Patient not resting. I have no idea what that means. Apparently he got up and left. He, or he died. He, patient healed himself. Or no, it's doctor healed awesome. thyself. That's the. No, that's not how that goes. Is that not? Physician that healed heal thyself. I was a little delayed in my response. Oh, okay. It might be physician too, but that wasn't what I was referring to. I was thinking about coffins, and then the first part got into my brain finally, and then 
I responded, but you had already said the second part. Good talk. <laughs> That's what makes this a premium content on YouTube that everybody should check out. Uh-huh. Well, let's let's out. all explain we our have... uh, our thought processes behind what we said. I find the human brain to be interesting, Albert. Maybe that's just me. You mean you only find your human brain to be interesting? <laughs> <laughs> Yours is crazy, apparently, so it's a bad test subject. Ah! Well, it would be more interesting. Well, I need a control. Okay. Hey. Oh, I should also get coffee. What's that little blinky thing in the in the lava? That l- yellow dot that's just sitting there. Let's find out. Mm, 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 mm. A fire snake. Nice. That's very nice. Look at the six running around. Beep, 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 beep. I wonder... Hey, someone got put to rest. Yeah, nice. Goes, goes it's down. a ghostly Who are you wrestler. Call? WWE's getting really esoteric. <laughs> <laughs> and the grave digger actually has to dig graves. <laughs> Everyone actually performs their given task. <laughs> the undertaker actually puts people in Are... the graves. <laughs> I guess grave digger's a monster truck, isn't it? I'm dumb. I have no idea. There's a great horn owl causing trouble. There is. Right. It's undertaker in the wrestling. Grave digger is the, res- the monster truck. I know things. <laughs> Are you going to have them try and kill the ghosts? What? I don't know what that's about. How will that work? I don't know. Where are all these elves, goblins, and trolls? That's interesting. What is that creeping oh. eye? What? Go up, go up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's, I mean, the caverns are open but sealed off, so stuff's popping in and out there. Oh, okay. You can look up what a creeping eye is. I will do that. I don't actually even have Chrome open, but I will definitely be... I'll, I'm, then, I will bring it have, now. You know what? I'm going to have them... Well, okay. Go kill that owl if possible. It's causing some ruckus. Squads. I know there's a movie called The Creeping Eye. The Creeping Eye. There's a uh, really great MST3K like episodes about it. Like the Emperor. Jedi. So be it. <laughs> a small um, underground monster that crawls around the cavern wall with its four clawed hands. It has a single large eye which can shine with its own light. Otherwise, its stony skin blends in with the rock. It has no mouth. And it is said to feed on evil alone. This actually sounds kind of cute. Let's find I was going to say, well, if he, it eats evil. That sounds good, right? Yeah. Like, keeps down the evil levels. Oh, look at him! It looks like a little... Whoop, 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 whoop. Like, we if we don't have... Oh. Like, does he take the evil out of people so they're good now? That, that, that actually sounds way less sinister than it should be. He's in the circus trench, though. Yeah, we don't want to send anybody down there. That would be... I was debating uh, capturing him. Oh, speaking of, I think that I have... Hmm... Where would I put these guys? Drowning okay. chambers do not work on creeping eyes as they have no lungs. Interesting. Okay. Now, I know Let's that drowning chambers are an option. Well, this is what I'm... That's, that's what this mess of stuff is supposed to be. Well, I never saw it actually happen, Joe. I'm hoping to make that a change. Okay, so everything is down. Okay, check, check, check. So now I can attach these bridges. The actual... Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay, let's focus on this for a bit. One option I was thinking was, towards the end, we put all of the dwarves into the drowning chamber, except one. Okay. That's Corella de Ville. And, guys, you're supposed to be killing this thing. Oh, yeah, they're outside. These horned owls just attacking all our dwarves. Oh, I got my squads on it. Whoops. Well, he flies away, I bet. Yeah, yeah. They're ninjas, though. You gotta, like, sneak up on them and hit them really hard in the wing and they can't <laughs> fly. Hammer. With a hammer or an axe. Axes are good. <laughs> Maybe throw an axe. I was gonna have all the dwarves stationed inside the drowning chamber and then fill it flooded for a finale. Well, thanks for telling us that ahead of time. Well, I, that was one option. Another option was to just put the politicians in. <laughs> Another option I just realized, if I have... Because these traps kept catching bad guys, I guess I can... I have a llama and a boar and a goose and a peacock and a... What? Okay, I have a go- I've got one, two... I have some goblins. I'm a little confused, though. Where are these other guys? I don't know. When I went to go kill... Yeah, cage prisoner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how to... I'm a little confused. Okay, so when you have a cage prisoner from a cage trap, to get to them, or not to get to them, but to sort of use them, you build a cage, um... Then hit X to look at the cages individually, and there should be there's only one, two, 
only two listed, which is weird because I literally just saw that there were. Can there be more than one in one cage? Ah, uh, there can be, but as far as the traps go, I don't think that's how that works. Let's find out where they are. I saw no trolls, so you, sir. Oh, they're in the dump. <laughs> right. Oh, look, there's a corpse being carried down the hall. Dun, 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 dun. Who are, why do people keep dying? Uh, no, that's from the old... Those are the ghost corpses. Oh, we corpses. killed the ghost? We're putting him to rest. Let's watch. Dun, 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 dun. All loose ends are finally being... And we get, oh, like, a giant a ulm attack, like, right before we, we wrap up. Okay, first off, we're going to reclaim everything in the dump. Uh, what should I do with these goblins and trolls? I thought you were going to put them back in the maze and set them loose on Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump. That wasn't exactly what I was going to do. That's a pretty good idea. I'm just waiting, yeah, like, I was just, I was just spitballing match. options. I hadn't settled on anything. And a boar and a llama and a cat. <laughs> just have a complete free-for-all. I, I, would go, I would go for that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there they are. Troll. When you station them there, make sure you don't station them where they can stand on the walls. There is no place where they can... Well, the walls will be up by the time they uh, are loosed. No, no, the your candidates. Well, ditto for them. How are they going to get in there if the walls are up? Well, the, I mean, the uh, snake will be up. The maze will be up. Oh, okay. Then you have the entrance and I'll separate. Have enough time. Yeah. Ideally, I'll have enough time. You'll yeah, have to send... So, will they be the ones opening the cages? No. The cages will be on a lever that I will then pull from outside safely. Okay. Uh, and a llama. And a boar. <laughs> what else? <laughs> I cannot wait mm. to see this. <laughs> a billy goat, absolutely. And a duck. Oh, and a dog. I saw a dog. Because it's a lame duck. <laughs> yes. Zing. Zero Obama in there, he'll be a lame duck president. Nailing those uh, references to yep. things. <laughs> That's okay. Not... Absolutely crushing that. Just double check we have no mechanisms. Mechanisms? Yes. yes. Them. Are we going to let them loose? Because technically we can leave this wide open, or we can have the maze. Um... Can you you can put that far wall up without closing the maze? Yes, I can seal this room off. Uh, I mean, if we want to do it that way, I can. It'd be more fun up. to watch if the it's open, if it's yeah. just like an open brawl room. Agreed. It's like a pun on ballroom, Joe. I don't know if you caught that, but I wanted to. I didn't even hear it. Okay. <laughs> so we'll set a separate switch for the the barrier bridges. It'll be up to two. Bridges. Are they not set already? They're set to, to, to swap up with all of them, but we want to just do those, right? Yeah, I just thought you. I thought that that was already like that. I don't know what that means. I thought that the wall... This one is, but these guys on the very outside, the actual ones that... We've made this problem last time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. These guys will be will just be flipped up. We'll just like leave it as it is. Okay. And make it a big open room thing. I like that. Along with Bernie Sanders, Hillary <laughs> Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> and Donald Trump. Is there a Should goat in there, them? by the way, so Bernie Sanders can exact his revenge? Is there a what in there? A goat. Uh, yes, I put a goat in. Get his lunch back? Yes. Should we arm them? He might be chewing the cut and he can just, like, rip it right out of his mouth. <laughs> Should we arm them? Um, uh, that's interesting question. What would we give them to fight with? I don't know. Are the goblins armed? There are some traps. It's possible some traps will be sprung. This is like a big... <laughs> yeah, that would be disappointing if the traps got them. Um, I guess we can... Ooh, look at all these bridges. We should go ahead to put them in a squad first. That's what I would say. Go ahead to put them in a squad first. Yes, I know how to words. <laughs> <laughs> all right, check. Hey, drink. Oh, it's almost the last time of that, too. I'm so sad. Oh, believe me, that happens in adventure mode as well. Yay! Uh, I did want to also say, real quick, that my plans to build a world for Albert to explore didn't quite bear as much fruit as I would have hoped. I finished up a paint sand, uh, a boot teached. Oh, at this point, I could have just sent this to you between filmings, even with the 
five minutes between these, and probably would have been pretty similar. Uh, I tried to do one out of wood, a different fort somewhere, that was just a pain in the butt, and then another fort I started and I forgot. I sort of forgot that, you know, I, I still had to play Dwarf Fortress while I was crafting these fanciful forts. And you couldn't just make them and make them be the thing you wanted them to make? Yeah, to be? so I was like, this one's gonna be, and then to wear something attacked. And I was like, god damn it. <laughs> and then, just, you know, things got sidetracked. So, that I would like not- to mention that the world that we're in is not a small world, mm-hmm. and there are many things to explore. I might oh, not no, even I- be able to find Boot Teach. It yes. took me, like, I'm used to, because I, when I'm playing adventure mode, I don't generate giant worlds, because there's already so much to find and so difficult to not die anyway. Um, usually it's like, you know, the, the days of the week go by, tick, 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 and then you're done. And uh, with Joe's world, when I loaded it up to test it, it was like, bink. Bink. <laughs> Bink. And I was like, oh, this is going to be a hog. Mm-hmm. But it's possible we won't even stay in this world that long. Because, really, there's only the one fort now to find. And an abandoned tree fort. And a <laughs> fort that just looks sort of like everything else. So, you know. Do you know what the name of these forts are that you set up? Because I can at least go and see your failure yep. when I Who create a new character. Hailed Constructs? And the third one I didn't even bother writing down. So you don't know the names of all of them. Hailed Constructs. is the failed wooden one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> because that's exciting. Okay, here's a question. Are we going to flood it, too? We're going to flood it? No. I mean, unless... Really? Un- well, it depends who wins. Well, again, it's not going to be like... Boosh, and then seven, seven deep everywhere. It'll take a while to trickle out. Um, I want to see the fight happen first. We are going to remove these traps. Now I'm thinking of this like a, like a game show. You just want to see the melee... melee free, 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 <laughs> Yes, that's what I want to see. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The melee free for all. Yes, happened. give them all socks and let them wail. <laughs> <their goblins>. <laughs> Hillary Clinton <laughs> is a level eleven fourteen miscellaneous <laughs> object <Sock> user. Wielder. <laughs> no, it's just miscellaneous <laughs> object user. The great thing about that is like you can get good with different type. Like it doesn't matter which kind of miscellaneous object. Oh really? So your your shield counts as a miscellaneous object. You can bash people with your shield. Um, oh. I've done some experiments with grinding and like, unless maybe you just have to sit there for hours and hours and hours and do it, but it did never work for me. So or you did well, like you just swing a sock at a duck or yeah. And I even set up like uh macros or just be like, all right, keep swinging the, you know, swinging the sword at the duck's leg, you know, <laughs> the flat of the sword so that it doesn't kill him and, uh, run those macros over and over and over again, like several thousand times. I mean, you know, not not literally run the macro a thousand times, but, you know, report, perform that action a thousand times. I didn't get that much better. I didn't, like, become invincible at that point, which was what I, I was hoping for. Those first first levels are tougher, I think. Can you learn from people? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I haven't got to that point in adventure mode. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a learning experience for me, too, for those of you who have gotten used to Joe knowing everything about the fortress mode. Uh, everything. You know, let's I, see how uh, these bridges worked. <laughs> I, I I am still in the process of learning and will continue to learn as we go. Oh, and you'll have me on uh, the wiki. That's true. We'll have research. <laughs> Love the smattering of the goblins and trolls and the bee, whatever that is. Who is your money on? Um, like if, if, like are we pretending that these are the actual candidates? Who's my money on, or just I mean, do I need to go look at their stats and dwarf therapist? Because one of those is way more fun than the other. <laughs> Without looking at stats, but in the world of Dwarf Fortress, I guess. Oh, I, you can pick any of these, any of the runners at this point. I think it's Hillary Clinton. I think she convinces Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders to fight the goblins for them, for her, and then stabs them in the back. <sighs> in the actual, in the act, but once I actually hit the buttons, what do you think happens? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what their skill sets are, so I. Yeah, but there's trolls and and I mean I I have to put my money on a troll, right? Oh, are you are you talking about like between not which one of the candidates wins? Oh, we're just seeing which one lives forever, like the longest and the two seconds it takes for everyone to get ripped to shreds. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so that was where actual... I, my mind was at. If you're saying like, is it the goblins or the dwarves? It's probably the goblins. Yes. In fact, are there's... they in there with their weapons though? I don't think so. I would have to imagine we disarm them. I guess we can look at that, can't we? We could literally disarm them if we were good enough. Yes. 
And uh, that's that's something that's fun in uh, adventure mode where you hit somebody and the severed part flies off in an arc. And it was their hand or whatever. And then they just can't <laughs> fight. Like, they don't have that hand anymore. Um, I don't know how to look in this cage. The weirdest one for that is the neck. You hit somebody in the neck and you chop their neck off. You. Yeah. I mean, it, it results in their head falling off as well, but it's still <laughs> difficult. To... The neck doesn't just neatly part <laughs> from the rest of the, the body. The head doesn't like, pchink, like fall down on the shoulders without the neck. It, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Link up to a cage. What? No, not that cage. We don't let loose the... What, there's a cage up there? It's weird. Cages everywhere. This guy. Uh, J. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, J. This is nice. It actually tells you what's in the cage. Better than some of the other... I just realized something we should do. What? What should we do? We should release them in waves. Like, pull one lever and, and we'll do... Okay. Okay, first of all... You have to build more levers. Yes. That's why I'm putting, like, eight... I'm putting way more... <laughs> We're just flooding the mechanics. dun 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 Yes, that is what I was doing. Everyone's a mechanic. Dwarf um, forts, dwarf forts. <laughs> this has become a thing now. I feel like the spontaneity is gone. I, where you, you, you make the words into songs. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's something I do it in my regular life. It's not like I'm <laughs> hamming it up for you. I to build one in the... Bookshelves in disguise was just a different. I don't know. You were in a different place. Maybe you were just crushing it that day. But I'm sorry. I'm not crushing it today, Joe. I'm a little tired. I'm not gonna it's lie. Terrible. It's terrible. Everything about it is bad. Okay. Well, fortunately, I'm gonna be taking over everything in the next episode. Hey, Hi! a giant ceratopsid with lidless eyes. What's a ceratopsid? It has a long, swinging trunk and a bloated body. Its um, clear scales are jacketed and overlapping. Beware its noxious secretions. La 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 la. I don't sing things in my everyday life, but how do you spell ceratopsid? Is that uh, with a C I'll at the end. One second. One second. One second. No, I had it right the first time. I don't know what a string dump is. <laughs> so, what? Cerat C E R A T O P S I D. Okay. Oh, it's a triceratops. Get out, really? Yes, it is. That's pretty amazing. Not try. I mean, there there are many other ceratopsid uh, types of dinosaurs. So, like the triceratops had the three horns, and there's like the um, there's a pentaceratops, and there's one that's got like fifteen horns. And it's really weird. Um, but yeah, there, it's a, it's a it's a type of that. Um, they have some with no horns at all. They just have the big crazy. like frill so thing. So there are dinosaurs in Dwarf Fortress. I did not know that until just I did now. not know that either. That's a bit of a revelation. Okay, so that's one goblin, then we'll do two goblins, then we'll do... What are we doing with that guy? We're we just, guy? like, ignoring him? The Ceratopsid! Oh, yeah, he's in the, uh... He's in the cavern. I'm not touching him. Oh, oh he's not, like, where he can get to us. No, no, no. He's, he's like cave he's Triceratops. Away. That's how he survived yes. for so long. Yes. Just like... Yes. Sure. So be a goblin and a troll. Boy, am I not going to remember what these mean? <laughs> what the? You mean the different levers? Yes. Also, which one has which? Because once you build a new lever, everything can everything can be hooked up to it. It doesn't like. Whereas if you have a lever and you've hooked up a cage already, it won't allow you to hook up that cage. So by the time I get to this lever, remembering which cages I've already hooked up and which ones I haven't is going to be a bit tricky. I thought you were going to just do like one hallway at a time. No. That's still four or five. That's still two trolls, a llama, and a... <laughs> Dog. Well, it to be some kind of a challenge. Well, the animals we can let loose. This, this one will be all the animals. Well, yeah, I'm going to build two. So I'm going to have the first one be just a goblin. We'll see what happens. The next one will be a goblin and a troll. The next one will be two trolls. We'll sort of build up. Okay. You dig? Uh, in this game, yes. You have to. <laughs> Otherwise, you just, like, die on the surface, Joe. Just groan. 
No, you have to build things out of trees, and it's a big pain in your butt. <laughs> I was on Twitter the other day, and I saw somebody bemoaning the fact that... Uh, or not bemoaning exactly, but saying they wish they could play the old style of Dwarf Fortress where there was only one Z level. Yes. And it, like, that idea just sort of made me... Like, I couldn't imagine playing Dwarf Fortress without being able to dig. Yeah. I mean, you could dig into the side of there a mountain like a or wall, whatever. Yes, and then there was lava further to the right. That's what... Uh, Boat murdered was on. Was he really he referenced that. I, yeah. When I first read that, I was like, "What? How are they? Did they pump up this magma?" And then I was like, "Oh, this is way back in the day." Yeah. I forgot. It must have been when they got Z levels. That must have been like people who played Dwarf Fortress at the time. Yeah. Just bro- like not, I'm gonna say broke the the game. It, it it unbroke the game. It like made it a whole different game. Yes. This is a thing that it did. Since we have people who uh, comment in the section, and we might have some old timers. I would love to hear anybody uh, who was around at that time. Like, what was it like? You know, what was the reaction? Was anybody like mad? Like, ah, oh, no, no, you've ruined Door Fortress. I'm never playing this game again. Of course, people are mad. It's the internet. <laughs> people seem to be pretty nice about Door Fortress, yeah. other than the people who are just like, I don't want to play it because it's hard. Th- those people, you know, didn't care. The, Reddit, the, the subreddit's amazing. YouTube's been great. The forum was a little not <laughs> supportive. Oh, with the people like, you should know this stuff. What's wrong with you? That kind of... Uh... Yeah, also the guy who was listing how we could improve our tutorial, which I guess was in the right spirit, but it was a little like... Whew. Uh, okay. A little detailed and odd. Very single-minded point of view. Um, also something fun, I've been going back through and trying to add some annotations and cards to old stuff. Uh Uh-huh. Remember the first episode when he left the music on? Yeah. (laughs) I'd forgotten about that. Also, our sound quality? Holy cow. Whew. We've gotten so much better. Technically speaking, yes. Yes. At the game, not not so much. No, (laughs) definitely not at the game. There's been a lot of laughter. Uh, and this one I'll I'll just be whatever we have left. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't have enough mechanisms. I just built a new mechanism. Drink chop, drink chop. You know who the real benefit of who teach has been of of it of benefiters. Yes, have some. What? <laughs> you know who has truly benefited from boot teached? Who been has the, car- the caravans, the traders of the world. <laughs> they have found a safe place to set up shop. <laughs> Pedal their goods, seek higher prices for what they bring. It's truly been wonderful to watch that happen. I've been an amazing negotiator. <laughs> yes, I, they they <laughs> they thought they were getting a good deal. Yes, you have waded through their corpses and picked up stuff <laughs> from the ground like no other negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have some more bookshelves, the cases. Sorry. Um, here. Yeah, we have a lot. Good lord. By the way, uh, I have not yet upgraded my adventure mode, so if you're looking to see weaponware in adventure mode, that is not... That, that's not a thing I've got to yet. Weaponware? You haven't heard about that? Like, like, items wear down now, and especially armor? Oh, yeah. They just... Yes. That sounds like a thing that they do. Um, We will be doing that at some point, though. Eventually, yes. But again, we wanted to try. And... That was a little bit of a busy night yesterday, and I, I was uh, not able to. Yeah, we had some. We had some exciting stuff. We had to hmm. interview some cool people for our other product that we make, the Human Echoes Podcast. We uh, talked to the guys from. Um, uh, not welcome to Night Vale because that's the King one Falls. I don't like. Yes, King, King Falls. Falls AM. And uh, they were really great guys. Good interview. It'll go up later. So this is definitely. I mean, we got three quarters of the... I guess I could see if we have more windows. We do have some windows. How about that? Boom, cheeky, boom, boom. Got... Whoa, we've got 21 of them. Yes. Will that be enough? Will that do it for us? No, that's not enough. I don't know. Measure, never, count. Once. (laughs) Three, two, one. That's a good number. Three, two, one. No, I'm just saying, like, that's a good amount of uh, stuff. Yes. 
Uh, we're at about, I mean, hopefully there's some stuff you can cut from this episode, but we're about at about 50 minutes. Yep, we're going to... Uh... And I understand this is the finale, but let's get these guys in here and fight some goblins. All right, let's... Uh... Can you militia captain of... Jesus? <laughs> a well-hung horse? <laughs> Hillary Clinton? You can search. Yeah, I know, it just seems like... Whoops! I think their squad's going to be called. No uniform. They are the tin ones. I like that. It sounds like a um Oops. like the name of a, a horror movie that isn't very good. <laughs> the tin ones. The tin ones. Bum, 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 bum. Who's the other guy? Oh Donald. The Donald. Okay. Donald Trump. We'll wait a little bit to situate them. I'll we'll make sure we get some of these stuff built. Wow. Giant Quelch. quadruped control composed of mud. Squat antenna and it squirms and fidgets. Is that in the same one? If the Triceratops is going to fight the, that'd be great if they fought each other. The mud beast. Those um, seem like the kinds of things that I would avoid in adventure mode. I forget what I was doing. I mean, I don't forget what I was doing, but I forget which lever. I know I was going to. I know I said I was going to do this, but I was sort of joking that I was. Gonna you said you were going to forget, and you forgot. Okay, no, that one does that. That's good. Okay. Check. Do you have a lever that will release some trolls? Oh, yeah. I have a lever that will release all the things at, at the worst case scenario. I so would call that I the trap. best case scenario, but... I just want to make sure the traps are all set. That's not what I want. It's something that can't be lined up. What is H? Link to a hatch. Interesting. Do you ever build hatches? Do I ever build hatches? Yeah. Not much, no. They're pretty cool. I think they're like, I mean, it's like, you know, the top of a stair, but it's lockable. Yeah, I tried it a bit, but it was not, I couldn't quite get it. Um, yeah. Okay. They still have some linking to do, unfortunately. Well, make uh, go and burrow out the, or, well, I guess we don't want to mess around too much in the library. Go and burrow out the what? Oh. oh. Yeah, I was going to say you could get the windows going. Well, that's not good. How did he get... Are the that's Forgotten Beasts coming out? Apparently, this guy got... Apparently this, why is this bridge down? Wow, that's not good. Did you build it down and never pull the lever? I thought we sealed up the caverns at some point. You know what? Actual squads, <laughs> you have a job now. Go kill Quelge, the Forgotten Beast. Beware his farting. <laughs> oh boy, we are losing some people. Yep. Oh, yes, we are. There are some bodies. There, there, there's some dead people. Uh, yeah. Um, thought that bridge was down. Maybe <laughs> Quell is going to finish things off for us. Uninvited guest. Yes, that's what they're called. He's just running. Ah! Fart, 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 fart. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I, hey, he's dead. Boom. Nice. Take that, Quelge. You want to see who got the kill shot? I know, yes. I know, I know, I know, but... Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. I want to report. Dun, 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 dun. Forgotten Beast, Quelge! Char, char, the miner by the thumb. The stray dog. The stray <laughs> dog killed him. <laughs> what? Why are we so bad? <laughs> Why is this stray dog better than our entire military? I don't know if they got there in time, but... We got a mason this is a miner. The miner was going after him with a pick, and then the stray dog got involved and killed him. What kind of what kind of injuries did he sustain? Who? The forgotten beast. Like how badly had he been injured before the stray dog killed him? I mean, it's nine pages, so we've got James Pritchard two was found dead. <laughs> James Pritchard. James Pritchard. <laughs> That's the second one of you that we've killed. <laughs> Charlie Work is fracturing. He's caught in a burst of the Quelge Forgotten Beast's extract. Yes. He killed people with his farts. Yes, that's why I kept saying that. Charlie Work got in some decent. Uh, wow. Fractures, lots of fractures to breathes, its legs. And belches, apparently. Breathes a cloud of uh, extract vapor. I mean, these guys are fracturing its lower body a lot. Is he just too tall for them to hit his upper body? Is that what's happening? I mean, it is a forgotten beast. It's not like it's a cockroach. Um, they're doing a fair amount of lots of fracturing, although fracturing is obviously not... Um, yeah, bruising the fat is sort of like 
Yeah. Nothing. Yes. Fractures are pretty good. I mean, this Charlie Rick was going to town. I don't know why he's using an axe. He should have a hammer or a punch. <laughs> it should be a ninja or a... Uh, oh, something exploded into Gort. Uh, oh, he kicked the... Uh, that's our guys. Blue blue is us doing stuff. Yes. Red is him doing stuff to us. Scra- a cat scratched it and it fractured something? Yep. The stray cat was found dead. The broker? The broker! I, I, did I die? Probably. Oh, oh our second no. broker? Or you were injured or something? I didn't see Farmer. it. Farmer. Fi- I don't know what... Why don't we have any actual fighters? I don't know. Okay, so this guy got his right rear foot off. He's made of mud, so I don't really know what... Well, he apparently has a skeleton if he can have fracture fractures. I guess. Maybe the mud is really hard. Lots of fracturing. Yeah, and then the dog's biting him, fracturing his leg. And then the dog finally... Forgotten Beast releases. He's wrestling there so in the we, purple. So we had some other people hack legs off. The dog just got the final leg off. And that killed him? Yeah, eventually. Okay. How's our uh, linking of levers going now, Joe? We can go to the dog. The dog's no longer stud. <laughs> um, let's find out. Probably not much because we were in that screen the entire time. Well, I hate, stop your excuses. <laughs> I hate you? Is that what you said? No, I said, well, stop your excuses. <laughs> you said something before that that sounded like I hate you. It was weird. No, I didn't. Fine, I'll play. We'll, we'll see. Well, I hate, stop your excuses. He said, I hate, stop your excuses. It's a thing, trust me. Shh. I'm, I, I'm sorry, what? I fell asleep <laughs> with my eyes cl- open there for a minute. Pull the lever. <laughs> These people love not pulling my levers. That sounded weird. Wasn't quite how I wanted that to come out. I'm also going to... How do you forbid places? Do you know how to do that? Um, I assume it's a zone? I'm going to assume it's a burrow. All right. Change selection, delete. Never mind, I don't know how to do that. Would you like me to look it up, Joe? Uh, yeah, one last time. Should give that a little looky up. Um, there's forbidden items. It does not appear that you can forbid an area according to this section of the wiki. What is happening to my life right now? Dwarfs, we only need... <laughs> We're here to do one thing, and that is... All right, there's traffic areas, which can be restricted. Okay. Use the keystroke D-O. D-O. And then you can use the R and then tell them where that is. That is incredibly helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Boom. Giant R's. You also have the option to, uh, says traffic areas can be designated as high, normal, low, or restricted. When walking from one point to another, dwarves consider these designations and finding the shortest path. Cost per huh. tile for the pathfinding AI, except for traffic levels, are high cost one point, normal default undesignated cost two points, uh, low cost five, and restricted cost twenty five. So they actually will go it's through all, restricted. Yes, check. It's not a all com- else fails. Yes, it's just like the worst possible. Pa- like it, it it's, it's like slogging through. You have to go through a lot of. Yeah, it's uh, like slogging through, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of something sticky. What is the word? Marsh. Syrup. Oh, syrup. That's yes. like full of scorpions that bite you. Yes. And also sting you because that's what scorpions do. Yes, they could, they pinch you too. Yep. They, they just do all kinds of bad things. It's interesting though, is you apparently you can't lock your dwarves out using restrictions, is what it sounds like. You cannot. If there's only one path in, they will take that path. Mm-hmm. We're going to send the tin ones into here. It is often a good idea to set any water source in a biome with seasonal freezing to a restricted area so your dwarves will be less likely to be caught on it when it melts. Hmm. Good safety tip. Some dwarves may get disturbed if they walk through a butcher shop and see an animal's being, animal being slaughtered, so you may wish to designate the shop or a band around it as restricted. And so on like that. Which your butcher will still go there to butcher things because it's the only option they got. Right. Hmm. All right. Again, interesting tips. I think I walk right to the edge of the restricted area. So I guess we'll allow. Squads, where are you at? Do I need to activate them? No, they should be doing that on their own. Where are they? Hillary Clinton. 
That looks like someone coming around the corner, walking through the farms. They'll be coming around the corner when they come. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. My singing is no longer sp spontaneous enough. No, it's not. It's, I'll stop. It's... <laughs> Did you build a cage on top of the wall? Several no, cages? they removed the cage traps, and the cages happen to be left on top of the wall. It's cool. Okay. They'll just go flying when the leopards get... Well, we're not pulling those walls anyway. Now you got me all kerfuffled. Looks like we've got Bernie Sanders and someone else. It's good, good reporting. Uh, 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 two of the stupid poops and a cat. All right. And that other guy left. I'm not sure what he was doing. Where are Hillary? Man, they can't even show up for their own primary. Yeah. Maybe she's maybe she's injured or like, who knows? Nope. It says they're moving in Dwarf Tharapist. Well, they could be injured and like just going really slow. No, there's another one. There's two. Caleb hanging out. Someone's cat's there, too. Meow. Dun, dun, dun. This looks like number three coming around. The... Yep. Nope. Son of a... No, there's three people there. I lied. Just waiting for this bridge to... Yep, that bridge is up. And is it happening? Over. It is happening. I'm awake just now. Just checking that this is the one. Not that one. Not those. Yes, this is the final chevron locking. Uh, pull that lever, and they'll be locked in, and then it's go time. We'll try and release the animals first, if I remember which trap that is. I won't, but I'll try. And, even though I don't quite know what this does, pull the lever, exclamation point. Just do, do it, it now. Do it on the hurry up. <laughs> I don't like you keep humming things and I think that like oh that sounds like home on the range and then you're like going to a different song Oops. and uh well the goblins are out now one goblin got out and he appears to have killed everyone okay <laughs> Bernie Sanders is dead <laughs> Donald Hillary one goblin killed them all uh, technically, those of you who had money on this, Hillary Clinton was our winner. I told you so! <laughs> Surviving longer than anyone else. Oh, uh, that didn't, that didn't work at all. Uh-oh. He's going up. Is the, is the wall up? Did you ever get the yeah, wall up? Yeah, the wall's up. Otherwise oh, okay. The goblin, I think. Yeah, he's just okay. wandering around. Um, well, now that we're doing this, let's... There's a word for that, and it's anticlimactic. Yeah, that didn't, uh, you wanted to release all of the things at once. At least there would have been more things. Maybe they would well, have fought with each other or something. We're going to see, release the animals and then let the thing flood. This is how this was supposed to work, sort of, kind of. But not really. Way to be decisive, Joe. <laughs> Technically, it should all be snaked, and the water will slowly spread out and murder everyone. But the bridge is inside or down, which is also a variant. Chunk. Chunk. Woo! I'm pretending da -da. like this is exciting, but it's actually <laughs> kind of anticlimactic and disappointing. <laughs> and the animals are loose, and some more trolls are killing stuff. That middle never never got pulled. I don't know what that did, but yay, that too. The <laughs> llama was found dead. Are we gonna drain if if this like river drains far enough, will they be able to go up that channel? Or no, uh, this is a source, isn't it? This will not stop yeah. because it's uh You can drain enough of it so that it will become passable, but that doesn't seem possible with one. Well these outlet. are tributaries though, like they have to be sort I I I mean, what happened? Hey, we gotta move <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't think of a better place to end that. Nope, let's just watch them slowly drown as we do our sign-off. Our final sign-off for Boot Teached. <laughs> Goodbye, Boot Teached. We hardly knew you. Goodbye, creative leaps. Goodbye, constructive practice. Goodbye, the tin oars, even though you're all dead. Goodbye, Corella DeVille. Thank you I'm all for watching. I'm gonna miss Corella DeVille. That's you're gonna find her, possibly. 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 And I will fight her with her lash. And her puppy backpack. In your in your continuity. Your oh, she doesn't? Continuity. Well, whatever. Um, 
yeah, you come into workshop, great. Thank you all for watching. Uh, again, we'll be doing Adventure Mode next. Probably a different title, but it'll be in our channel. We'll start up a playlist for that as we move along, too. Um, this has been Joe Teaches Al Dwarf Fortress. Advent, uh, I'm smart. Fortress Mode. I'm Al. <laughs> I'm Joe. I've enjoyed learning from you, Joe. And it's been fun. I'm looking forward to Adventure Mode a this lot. This is certainly not necessarily definitely the end. Like, we might come back to this. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't see why we wouldn't do another some variant of Dwarf Fortress Fortress mode again, but I'm pretty excited for Adventure Mode. And and I really off. am thankful for all the people who have watched and commented. Yes. Uh, so, I'm sorry. I, yes, I'm not going to apologize. It's fine. Why would you apologize? I was a little tired in this episode, and especially towards the end. <laughs> oh, I yes, feel bad. <laughs> we try I, and give it our all. Um, I had a bad dream last night, and I was up at 4 o'clock. Aw. Yeah. But I got to beat somebody up in the dream, so... Like I, I, that's the only part I remember is I just punched a dude over and over and over again. That sounds great. Who was it? I don't know. It was, it was somebody bad. Like they, they like ruined my family or whatever. What great content this is. Yes. Maybe we should sign off in a different way and you can cut that part out. Okay. <laughs> Thanks um, all for watching. Thank you for everybody, for real, who commented and uh, liked the videos and watched, and hopefully will continue to watch as we go into adventure mode. And I will really, really continue to need your comments in that, because I am in the process of learning. I have some stuff I can teach Joe, um, but I'm still still in on the road with that, as we all are, always on Dwarf Fortress. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for working with me there, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, I got... there's uh, Yeah. Yes. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> we'll see you at Adventure Mode. Time travel show, right? Time travel. A show where you go to different times. You travel to points in time that are, that are different. All right? They're not the same time. Everybody understands how time travel works? Okay, good. At one point, the character in 2017 says, We have to wait because we have to do this all at the same time. You, you, you can't there's no all the same time it's not <laughs> that's not you're in time